Hello students, welcome back to the maths class. In our previous classes, we have discussed many concepts about constructions. We have gone through some of the constructions stepwise. In this class, we are going to discuss some more concepts about construction. Okay, so let us begin with construction 11.5. In construction 11.5, we need to construct a triangle given its base or base angle and the difference of the other two sides. You might be remembering that in construction 11.4, the sum of two sides was given. In this case, the difference of two sides is given. So, the procedure of construction is a bit similar. Students, we will discuss Question number 2 of exercise 11.2 which relates to construction 11.5 so that you can understand the steps of construction in a better way. In this case, as we have done in the construction procedure of 11.4 that we took a scale for my construction. So, in this construction also, I am going to take the scale of 1 is to 4. Okay. So, let me draw the rough diagram and write down the given data as per the question number 2. Then we will begin the steps of construction. Okay. Students, I have drawn a rough diagram of triangle ABC as per the data given in question number 2 of exercise 11.2. So, given data is BC 8 centimeter and angle ABC is equal to 45 degree and AB minus AC is equal to 3.5 centimeter. I have taken the scale as 1 is to 4. So, in my case, BC will be 4 into 8 that is 32 centimeter and AB minus AC is equal to 14 centimeter. So, for steps, we need to go for BX again. So, let us construct BX. Okay. Fine. So, in the next step along BX, we need to cut off a line segment BC that is 8 centimeter. So, we need to cut off 8 centimeter. And in my case, it is 32 centimeter. So, this is point C. Fine. In the next step at B, we need to construct angle CBY that is 45 degree. Hope you remember how to construct 45 degree. I think you better know it. So, let us construct 45 degree at B. So, students, I have got the intersection point for 90 degree. So, after joining that point with B, I get 90 degree. So, when I bisect this angle, we will get 45 degree. So, let us bisect this angle. Students, as you can see, we have got the point of intersection that is this point and when we join that point with B, we will get 45 degree. So, let us join those two points. I am extending the line up to Y. So, this is point Y for me. Fine. What next? Now, Students, in the next step, we need to cut off 3.5 centimeter from BY. Okay, in my case, it is 14 centimeter. So, when we cut off 3.5 centimeter from BY, we will get point D. Okay, so I am going to cut off 14 centimeter because I am taking scale as 1 point, because I am taking scale as 1 is to 4. So, for me, BD will be 14 centimeter. So, this is point D. Okay. 
Now, we need to join C and D. Fine. Then, we need to draw perpendicular bisector of C D and let it intersect B Y at A. Okay. So, let us now construct the perpendicular bisector of C D. Students, when we join these two points, we will get the perpendicular bisector of CD and when we extend it, it will intersect BD at a point and that point will be point A. So, let us draw that line. Students, as you can clearly see, the perpendicular bisector of CD is intersecting BD at a point. So, let us name it as A. Now, we need to join AC to get our desired triangle. So, when we join AC, we will get triangle ABC in which BC is equal to 8 centimeter. In my case, it is 32 centimeter and your angle is 45 degree and AB minus AC is in your case 3.5 centimeter but in my case it is 14 centimeter. Hope you understand the steps of construction. Let us revise it again. Okay. What we need to do? We need to draw BX. Then we need to cut off 8 centimeter along BX to get point C. At point B, you need to construct 45 degree and which should go up to Y. From B, Y, you just need to cut off 14 centimeter. Okay, 14 centimeter to get point D. Then you need to join C, D. Then you need to construct the perpendicular bisector of C, D. And let the perpendicular bisector of C, D intersect B, D at a point and that point will give you point A or the vertex A of triangle A, B, C. Then you just need to join A, C to get the triangle A, B, C with the given data. Okay. Hope you understand. Students, we have discussed the steps of construction for 11.5 through question number 2 of exercise 11.2. Students, in question number 3, the given data for the construction of triangle PQR is QR is equal to 6 cm, angle Q is equal to 60 degree and PR minus PQ is equal to 2 cm. I hope you can do this construction by yourself because we have just discussed the same procedure for question number 2. You just need to follow the procedure and construct the triangle PQR. Let us now discuss construction 11.6. Okay? In construction 11.6, we need to construct a triangle given its perimeter and its two base angle. Okay? So, let us proceed with the construction. Students, we will discuss construction 11.6 through question number 4 that is given in exercise 11.2. Okay, because we have some data over here and we will use those data to go for the construction. Fine. It says construct a triangle XYZ in which angle Y is equal to 30 degree, angle Z is equal to 90 degree and XY plus YZ plus ZX is equal to 11 centimeter. Okay. So, Perimeter is given as 11 centimeter and two base angles, those are angle Y and angle Z are given as 30 degree and 90 degree respectively. So, let me draw a rough diagram for this construction and then we will go for the steps of construction. Okay? Students, as you can see, I have drawn a rough diagram of triangle XYZ as per the given data. 
what it says it says angle y is equal to 30 degree and angle z is equal to 90 degree and xy plus yz plus xz is equal to 11 centimeter i am taking scale as 1.4 so in my case xy plus yz plus xz is 44 centimeter okay students let us now discuss the steps to construct this triangle to construct this triangle first of all we will have to draw a line segment ab which will be equal with the value of the perimeter of the triangle that is 11 centimeter in your case and 44 centimeter in my case so i am going to draw the line segment ab of length 44 centimeter now at a i am going to construct the same value of angle that is equal to 30 degree for x y z so angle a will be same as angle y that is 30 degree what i have done i have got the bisection point of the main arc over here for 60 degree and then i have bisected this arc value to get the point for 30 degree so let me join these two points okay now we need to construct 90 degree at point b so students let us now construct 90 degree at point b students as you can see we have got the point of intersection for 90 degree now let me join these two points so that now from a we have extended a line that is of angular value 30 degree and from b we have extended another line that is of angular value 90 degree fine now let the point of intersection be p fine students let us now construct the bisector of both the angles that is angle a and angle b Fine. We have drawn the bisector of angle A that is AR and bisector of angle B that is BS. Let them meet at X. So, the point of intersection is X. Fine. What next? Draw perpendicular bisector of AX okay, which intersects AB at Y. So, we need to draw perpendicular bisector of AX to meet a B at Y. When we join these two points, we will get perpendicular bisector of AX and it intersects AB at a point. So, let this point be Y. So, we have got X and Y. What next? Now, we will construct the perpendicular bisector of BX and let that perpendicular bisector intersect AB at a point and we will name that point as Z. So, this is point Z. Now, we have got all the points for the required triangle that is point X, point Y and point Z. So, let us now join these points. So, 
so x y z is the required triangle okay hope you understand the steps of construction let me revise it again okay what we have done we have drawn a line ab which is equal to the perimeter of the triangle then what we have done we have constructed angle bap as 30 degree and angle abq as 90 degree then we have drawn ar the bisector of angle bap and bs the bisector of angle abq and they meet at point x what next in the next step we have constructed the perpendicular bisector of ax that intersects ab at y and perpendicular bisector of bx that intersects ab at z then after joining three points we have got the triangle x y z at per the given data hope you have now understood clearly the procedure of construction okay students the question number 5 of exercise 11.2 says construct a right triangle whose base is 12 cm and sum of its hypotenuse and other side is 18 cm okay so now i hope after going through the procedure for all these constructions you can very easily construct this triangle okay now this is the homework for you you have to do it by yourself okay students with this we have come to the end of the chapter construction so let us now go through the summary of this chapter okay in this chapter we have discussed the following constructions using a ruler and a compass first one to bisect a given angle then to draw the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment then to construct an angle of 60 degree etc then to construct a triangle given its base or base angle and the sum of the other two sides then to construct a triangle given its base or base angle and the difference of the other two sides and lastly to construct a triangle given its perimeter and its two base angles okay so students hope you have clearly understood the procedure of construction that is given in this chapter you need to practice more and more so that you can have a good control over your ruler and compass so that you can construct in a better way keep practicing keep revising and take care of yourself keep smiling thank you